Hello there everyone and welcome back to the United UMC mod for Hearts of Iron Former host, Mr. Deutsches Kaiserreich Lover. But we gotta talk about Habsburg Hohenzoll in marriage. After the World War, nobody thought that any state in Europe would be once again ruled by the old monarchs. But new days hide new opportunities. With the Kaiser back in power and also von Habsburg's agreement, we now have uh, an, an option to arrange a marriage between our two, if not always friendly, families. Success with the guaranteed in Greece and influence in Czechoslovakia and Hungary, former Habsburg states, as well as in the rest of Europe. But other nations will surely see this as a threat to their d dominant standing. Therefore, we should think twice before agreeing with such a magnificent event, as it might give us more foes and friends. Arrange the marriage. We lose 500 political power and some stability. 5% uh, of Mackinson retires, 20% of Mackinson protests, 75% of we get stability. Two houses united in one. As we're still in Spain, we're in China, the Soviet Union is just not having a good time. But that's not us, so we don't really care. Uh, let's go down here, here maybe. That'd be nice, if possible. Um, I don't think the Japanese are actually going to do that well anymore. Oh boy. Well, you know what? You guys just go right there. That's fine. You help out. Oh, hello. I'll give Mongolia, which is a bunch of commies, until May 14th to pay us for the licenses. And if they refuse, well, then we'll deal with them in a certain special way. You're getting attacked anyways, you might as well stay there then. As long as we don't get, you know, encircled and completely killed off. That's what I care about. Oh. Okay, must be another caucus state. Look we'll at Georgia, or over here, maybe. Karakalpaksta. Alright. Nice. Less supply issues are good, and it's getting close to May 14th. They're also doing, of course, Imperial Marriage, which I think I read last time, so... Um, two empires standing, uniting the Bell Creek were beaten and dissolved. Even though we were strong enough to reclaim your rights once again, the Habsburg weren't so lucky. But New Day reveals new possibilities. Um, Otto von Habsburg is a perfect candidate for arranged marriage between Hohenzollern and Habsburg House. Two houses united in one. Today the sun comes out, and it's one of the greatest moments of modern history. Two houses. The House of Hohenzollern and the House of Habsburg will be joined in one. Despite some objections and protests, the imperial wedding continues, of course. Thousands of people gathered in the main square in Berlin, ready to give their brides to the newlyweds and look at the majestic military parade that preceded the wedding. Hundreds of tanks, vehicles, and aircraft were seen this day, showing the technological advantages of the Kaiserreich. But as soon as the characters of the married couple were seen behind the column of marching soldiers, all eyes were fixed on them. Victoria, seated in the old-fashioned, gorgeous, white-blue dress, surely reminded everyone of the pride and glory the German Empire had achieved before the Valkyrie. Otto, carrying a classical military detachment with a bent sword at his belt, on the other reminded the alliance with our southeast neighbors. A line that was broken but maybe reforged once again. The whole event was attended by the Kaiser himself, along with important figures of the German leadership. Participants of foreign powers, namely the English and the French and others, also participated, and looked at the wedding passage with a certain amount of uncertainty, contempt, and fear. After a long and noble ceremony, the newlyweds went to a wedding reception accompanied by stormy applause, and all of Europe has embarked on a path of new history. Now we take what is rightfully ours. We get the house von Germania as we lose stability and war support, more political power, a lot. Weekly stability plus 1%. Wow. Um. Okay, yeah, cool. Czechoslovakia handles the crown, handles the crown for the House of Germania. They're welcome to a united coalition. Not yet. Oh heck yeah, we lose a lot of stability here, don't, don't we? Awesome. Invite the Czechs. Invite the Hungarians. Um, I did want to do this one. We didn't do this one yet. We could really use more stuff here. Istria for Panzerwaffe. Become owner of Istria. Also train two of the generals and provide military tank technology. That's, that's not bad. Um, we have a lot I want to do here, but. Finishing the Autobahn would be very good as well. Pool technical know-how. Yeah, that's not bad either. Not bad. You want to wait for that, though. Um, sign on military mission. Increase our influence in China. Renew Chinese industrialization. Guarantee the KMT regime. Huh. Reminisce of the good old days. We should probably start doing that now. Support the Syrian revolution. Russia, Bulgaria. The Ottomans chose... Uh, or the Ottomans ruled close east for half a millennia. Now the Turks only know the wrongs that came after the Valkyrie and the pride from the rebellion with Ataturk, or Ataturk, led to a successful end. But the Allies still have debts to pay. And then we're going to go ahead and... We'll probably do this one too. I read this one last time, so if you do this, please go ahead. But I'm by the Czechs. Even though the Czechs rebelled against Austria-Hungary after the Valkyrie, they came a long way since then. By securing their national rights and equality in our new empire, we can hopefully convince them to join us. Which would be great. House von Germania, that's so strong. Oh, use Kalten Brunner's Austrian SS. Oh. A relationship with Himmler. You know, war sport and manpower. Complete this decision will increase the chance that Austria will accept the Anschluss. Get some uh, war propaganda too. I can only do that one first because we don't get any weekly change. Oh, well, I guess. Yeah, because well, we just clicked on that, we do get that. 
Ein Deutschen Czech name. The first step of Czech Germanization is to get rid of their language. Um, German will be the primary language on signs, spoken in offices, and taught in schools. Let's wait till we get to the Czechs under us first. Basic conditions. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, they invaded again, huh? Very nice. Alright, so we can still grab someone down here. Military High Command. Oh! Okay. By the Hungarians? Hungarians, Hungarians still by our side on the Valkyrie, now with Otto von Habsburg on our side. We should have convinced him to join us once more. Why not? Still going up anyways. Yeah, I'd probably choosing someone here would be better. So who do we have? We have uh, a naval guy. We have an army guy. We've got another army guy. And we have another air guy. And actually, that's actually slightly balanced. Infantry specialist would be really good. I like that a lot. But who are we shooting for? Marines... Um, Flieger, Naval Mission Efficiency wouldn't be bad. Strategic Bombing, but I'm not really going to be Strap Bombing. Oh, I never Strap Bomb. Air Attack Defense, Paratroppers, but we're not really going to use those either. Mm. Air Warfare, Fighter Interception, that's not bad. Uh, Wilhelm Adam. Vampire Increase, Max Instruction of plus 5, just really focused on defense, capturing equipment as well. Uh, cut Zeit Zeitzler. Uh, supply consumption goes down, which is really good, actually. Max, ge general max army group size. Zeitzler needs to be level 4 for us because we get this one. This is not bad. Stan, um, more daily army XP. This guy's really balanced. Von Manstein? Not bad. Vision speed. Rommel. Uh, I'm sorry I'm taking so long with this, but I just want to see. Oh, he also helps with supply consumption, too. Minus 5%. That's not bad. Demil Ooh, artillery. We're going to throw a lot of artillery on here, though. Offense. And this guy is focused on defense. You know, I'm going to go with Rommel, probably. Just because you get better supply... Slightly better supply consumption. Everyone gets more attack. And then the armor gets more attack, which we'll use eventually. And you still get more daily army XP gains. So that's actually not bad. I like that a lot, actually. There you go. I did... I gave him even longer, so... Now my problem is they can't listen. Right. Right. Um, you... I'm not sure what I want you to do, Von Blubber, yet. Hey, you want to help out here, too? <laughs> so, I'm focusing a little bit more on tanks. We're really on our army. I mean, army's not bad. It's really not that bad. But still. Let's see. Bulgaria seeks Balkan claims warranted. A delegation from Bulgaria is of approach. Our government asking for German support for the claims of the Balkans and seek, seeking to secretly negotiate the secure Bulgarian territory. Expansion of the region in the near future. An exchange for the Bulgarian alignment with the Deutsches Kaiserreich and the country's entry into such powers. Organize any trail to expansion we see. Recognize Bulgarian claims, of course. Now, oh, well, actually, you're a puppet already, aren't you? Yeah. It's awesome. Oh, we can do Czech universities. We have to do that one next. Even though Czechs were a small nation, their research facilities could even compete with ours. Let's make sure to include their scientific efforts into our for or for our own interests. Yes. You know, I kind of want. I want to go to war economy almost immediately right now too. Um, but we can't. Any more world tension, any more war sport. Wait. There's only 30%. One of the following must be true at war or more than 50% world tension. There's only 30%. That sucks. That sucks. That really sucks, actually. Wait for Von Manstein. You're going to be aggressive. I like being aggressive. Alright, so all this stuff is done except for you guys. Oh, 75 is not bad. Um, Cal ship attack. Yeah, this is okay. I would choose this one when we play as the Nazis again, but definitely right there for now. And over here, uh, yeah. Go ahead and grab that extra research slot. Everyone seems to be very busy. Are you guys becoming communists, right? And we have a cup of coffee here too to keep us nice and warm. Oh, nice general strikes. Full employment, huh? Victors of the Great War. What else? Stability would be nice. I mean, we get some more support here, man, more manpower. Well, it's 50. Go and do it, why not? Quit indie movement, nice. Plus, goes good. Um, we got some versus stuff. That's not bad, but we're not going to need any new generals for quite a while. It's 1938, of course. Enough uh, slots to, you know what, go and get that one too. I like that one. Nice. And since we're here, Soviet Union just, is just straight up dying. I love it. 117 days, go ahead and do that. That's fine. So training? Good, as we should. Keep training, 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 training. Um, any extra planes yet? 
Transport planes, we're not gonna use those. You guys do this. Do that. And double it. Both of you trouble trouble? Double. Oh, a little bit of lag in 1938. Oh! They actually got it. The provisional Russian government got it. End of the Second Russian Civil War. Nice job. I also gotta fight the Ukrainians and probably Belarus eventually, too. So it's really gonna go. True Tsars. Interesting. That's a fun route to do, actually. It's really quite fun. Um, I wanna make sure our Navy's gonna be good, though. So we have, we're actually have super heavy battleships with heavy battleships. Light cruisers, light cruisers. Patrick University is so good to get. Um, Bohemian Shipbuilding Legacy. Six off map? Wow. We're gonna fight the Hungarians first. <clears throat> That's two at a time for us to really do. Uh, get some armor here, too. Heavy ship armor. That'll be good. Another research slot. Jesus Christ, that's so good. 38, 39. Go and grab this one, too, if you can. I love having these many research slots. It's so good. I'll keep building the civvies, but this is the last time we're going to build all these civvies up at the same time. I don't mind having more infrastructure, but still. Because we'll need some naval bombers. We're going to need a lot of stuff here. We need a lot of stuff. You want to help them out? Come down here. Ooh, a truck division, nice. Spanish, Chinese. Where is our Chinese divisions? Yeah, you come right here. <coughs> can they hold out? They probably can hold out, to be honest with you. They're not that weak. We get 1.15 every single day. Pretty good. Um, oh, actually, you know what? We don't need any more stability because we get weekly stability increase anyways, so that's okay. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. There's a parade. Daily political pause. Oh, no, seems okay. Zen Victoria to school? Well, I'd rather do this stuff first. Let's go and grab. Not you. Does not have the. Oh, we can't have him. We can't have Hans Osta. As well as Wilhelm Canaris at the same time, darn it. Has him active. Ah, oh, I love Reinhard Heydrich. He's just such a guy. Such a dude. One of my favorites. Shouldn't say that too loud. Oh, look at this. Shock? Oh, he has shock now? Four year plan? Oh. We should have gone earlier. Look at that. Minus 5% because we're good. Oh, heck yeah. Alright, so with that in mind, um, really start focusing hard on more military factories. Um, we haven't built up the infrastructure enough yet, really. Go do that real quick first. And then we'll start building up some more um, dockyards, too. I want a fleet. I want a thick fleet. Invite, invite some hungry, hungry boys. Question of Romania. The Empire United. Ooh. Von Rundstedt's second military mission. Join the Republic of Turkey. Try it. Von Rundstedt was very successful in providing advice and training to the Chinese, but it's time for him to work closer to home. The Turkish generals could be using an experienced general to provide them with training and advice. <coughs> if he's successful, we could push him to suggest an alliance with the generals he works with. I'm going to do everything here. Let's check for a positive waffle. Nothing around the right side, of course. Which is fine. Um, autarky, yeah, we could use more resources. Uh, even rubber, too, huh? Or the finish of Autobahn construction. Ooh. As Germany modernizes, tanks and trucks are being used more and more to prepare for the future conflicts. Oh, yes. Um, there's no better idea than to finish the Autobahn, which will closely interlink several sectors of Germany which will in turn help our economy, along with improving our reaction time in case of conflict. Very true. Screw it. Just go and get all three. Go on the second, third, and Victoria School. Come comments include. Someone says, create the central powers, because that worked out so well the last time. And someone else says, central powers, but no Austria-Hungary. But we're united now. House of Germania, you know. Someone says, or Mehmet says, can you establish an Ottoman Empire in Turkey by focuses? Basically, uh, sort of, I think so, yeah, pretty much. That's what our goal is right here to do, so. And someone says, continue things like the Syrian Revolution, etc. Yeah, we'll try. Oh, Kurdistan exists. Oh, God. Um, someone says, yes. Yes, YouTube, this game is clearly Europa Universalis. Someone asked, how do you get opposed Hitler in this mod, Free United UMC? You have to use cons commands. As soon as you start the game, you have to use cons commands and use focus.nochecks as well as focus autocomplete to take the focus so you can actually play this. So that's why. So that's how you do that. So, really cool. Wait. Why do we own this? What? There's this resource rights over here or something? What? What? You know, I I'll gladly take this. We didn't even get a peace deal, but you know what? We saw the thing. You know what? I'm I'm a generous god. Wait, is this even? You know what? Never mind. I'm not generous anymore. It's a core state. I don't know how we got this as a core state, but I <laughs> I'm taking it. I'm keeping it. Whatever. <laughs> That's funny. I like that a lot. 
Ah, another electricity. Good job, guys. Good job. That, that is awesome. Um, I always use the left side. Do I? No. No, I don't like Kamikaze. I never use Kamikaze pilots. I use it, always use the right side. 18 free repair. Might as well get that one down now. Down. Done. Uh, over here. Can't really choose a lot of people. It kind of sucks. Oh. Falta Funk. You know what? We choose Falta Funk anyways. Oh. Who's over here? Von Bach. Who? Did we choose? Let me choose somebody over here. Yeah, Rommel? Oh, Rommel's over there. Close air support guy. Army. Navy. Huh. Okay, well that's weird. Um, this is not bad, actually. Milch is pretty good. Yeah, I like Milch quite a bit. Um, von Manstein is pretty decent as well. Look at that army XP you get every day, but I don't really need that too much. I like Zeitler a whole bunch, though. But I don't think we have any, him in any army right now. This guy, he actually helps out too. Wilhelm List, he's not bad. He's born in 1880. Um, more max entrenchment, which is not bad, but I want more attack. Supply consumption, we're going to throw support companies on our guys anyways. Interception, mission efficiency, air attack, agility. That's going to help out with planes, and we need, we'll need to make sure we got some really decent planes. So, um, carry base fighters, nah, don't need that yet. Don't need any of this stuff yet. Scout planes, I never use them. I don't see the point of them. We, we could research other things before we even get there, so. Uh, better anti air cannons? Sure, why not? Oh, what happened to a guy? Oh! Crown Prince. August von Mackinson. I don't want to invest in this guy too much just because he's going to pass away eventually. He's a defensive doctor. So he's built him. Yes, yes. Logistics. Throw planner. Fast planner is not. Actually, that's not bad. Now that I look at it, you get better army fuel consumption. That's not bad, because just planning speed is not good enough, but max planning and fuel capacity is not bad, too. Um, that's actually pretty strong. Max entrenchment plus 15? Is that a flat 15? That's very strong. Compared to, like, 5% more attack and one more attack? Holy crap, that's strong. Too bad we're going to be very offensive. At least I try to eventually. Holy crap. Oh, Super Heisenberg. We'll get there. Autarky. Um... I want to do that one, but there's just so much we have to do right now. Vampire United. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we want to do this one. Negative effects will be reduced completely removed after 18 months. We got to do this as fast as possible. As we control all parts of former Austria Hungary, we can begin the process of true integration. Four nations will be united as one, standing strongly against Western imperialism and Eastern communism. Though the integration won't surely come without any problems, it will certainly be worth it. We get every leader, get cores, annex Hungary, and Bohemia, army and chaos, which is god awful for the next years. Pretty much. And I'll we'll focus more on tanks too soon, as well. <clears throat> I just want to run around and just beat people up. That's what I like to do. Just you know, you see me on the streets, just run around, and beat people up. That's all I do. What's China looking? China's doing okay, huh? Let him leave and then go in. Nice. I love encirclements. Nice. Just in case for the future. Um, give them better anti sub stuff. I wonder if we have six research slots. The infantry that we currently have right now. They are 18 combos, which is okay. We'll definitely get some recon, though. Slightly less reliability with motorized. Cost a little more. Slightly more defense, slightly more breakthrough as well, slightly actually more recon when you go this way too. Interesting. What's uh, stockpile like right now? We need more trucks, so that won't work very well. Um, item of recon, armored, armored recon, just not worth it, please, guys. Do we have that many trucks available? Not really. We have anti-air. Anti-air is pretty darn strong, though. We need more, of course. Artillery. Yeah. Let's move that real quick first. Let's 
Let him attack us, it's fine. Oh. There you go. I want to help destroy these two divisions if possible. If not, okay, whatever. Go in. Yay! Go in. Yay! Have fun. Yum! Uh oh. Civil War in the Republic of Turkey. Looks like it's our time to shine then. Which side do we like? Do we like the Republic of Turkey or Turkey? Well, in all honesty, I guess he fed to Turk. Sectarian woes. Just organize armed forces. Oh crap. Which Turkey do we want? Republic of Turkey. We need the Republic of Turkey with us, so. We'll support them. Nine divisions, that's pretty good. I'm not sending uh, tanks, though. Good god, no. That's eight. Eight, nine. Three hundred two planes, which is actually pretty good. Over here. And we have no other cast, do we? God dang it, I need to make more planes. Take these tack bombers. Guns are fine-ish for now. Way more. Way more. Uh, two. Yeah. Seven forget, sort of, but not really. <coughs> we need more. Mexican resource exchange? Salvador Abscal has offered a trade with Germany if Wilhelm II was von Hohenzollern will agree to send Mexico designs on the latest and light medium tanks we've developed. Seems to be the first stage in closer Mexican-German relations, so even if it serves no military purpose, it may be useful to us geopolitically, of course. These state-of-art tank designs could be falling in the hands of future enemy. The Americans will likely end up with any designs we send, pretty much. But okay. That'll make it a little more interesting for us. Horthy appeals for diplomatic support. Hungarian government is currently attempting their treaty to and allow Hungary to begin rebuilding the military. Negotiations on blood have been installed for several days now. The Hungarian ambassador has approached our government with a request to exert diplomatic pressure on the other side. The Foreign Office of Cautions are siding with Hungary would no doubt negatively impact relations with their neighbors and shift the balance of power in the area. However, denying the Hungarians might cause them to make an aggressive move and abandon diplomacy altogether, which could destabilize the entire region. Good. Why not? Sounds good to me. I don't care. Nice. Group truck's good. Um, it's 39. Let's go and get more output. We need more output. We only have 173 factories, so... Let's do that, too. Led by Von Buck. Um, we're starting on two sides. I think it'd be best. Well, we're gonna have a lot of supply issues, anyways. But, do we want to get all the Kurds first, or the Turks, or the Chebazon people? Oh, that's just Turkey. Um, wherever we fight is gonna be god awful, I'll be honest. So, let's come down here first. You can be led by Carl Eggles here. I love Carl. Getting a lot more air XP. I love it. Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just zooming around here. That's all I'm doing. Go ahead. Nice. Back to the seas. Oh, wow. Factory output goes down. Give me all, all more stuff here. <coughs> Which Romania. Oh, we need that one too. We need to sharing too. Oh my god, there's so much we can do. We can challenge them, but don't see the point of it yet. So I've got the Baltics. Poland's killing itself anyway, so. Back to the seas. Not bad. I do want Istria first, though. We want to do Autarchy. I want to do everything here so fast. Support these states, poor technical know how. Um, China exists, fully independent. Uh, history for Panzerwaffe. History was always an Austro Hungarian territory for the sake of the grandfathers as well as ensure safe access to the Adriatic, we will buy back. Yeah, why not? Oh, I'll get more factories too, that's right, good. Uh, get more light tanks, get more trucks, get more support equipment. Um, 
Get more attack at the bottom, so that would be put at the bottom of the list. And we're gonna need way more arty where we're going. Trust us. Ah, now we actually have an army now. I don't even be bothered with looking at any of that stuff yet, so this will be our second army. One army to fight these guys over here. Well, give a new theater. A lot of theaters here. There you go. There you go. There you go. Here, you can do this too. Oh, the battleship too. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Um, I don't trust any of these guys. We'll all be 40 combat with eventually as well, so. That'd be nice. Boom, boom. Led by whom? August von Mekusin. No. You guys. No. Generals. Alright, whatever. Are we out of generals? Okay, I don't understand why we can't click on these guys like this, but whatever. You. Logistics Wizard, yes. You know what? I'll actually go fast plan for this one. You. You're a cavalry officer. Oh well. Infantry guy now. Yes. We need a lot of planes to keep make sure these guys do okay. Cool. Train. Pretty much indefinitely. Got all the stockpile of crap too. Hmm. Strap bombers, don't even want to see it. Don't even want to see it. What's their support? Oh, we need this. Actually, right now, but whatever. I'm going to get rid of these. I don't want to deal with these other planes that we don't ever use. Nice. Mexican, Mexican entry into the Central Powers. Uh, the leader has submitted a request to join Central Powers. Whether he seeks mutual protection or foreign expansion is unknown, but Mexico is always a lucrative asset to have on our side. Sure, why not? Well, there could never be an issue with Mexico coming into the Central Powers, right? Right. Never. Strength in numbers. Nice. Let's go. China. Oh, they're attacking us too, huh? Oh, okay, Mexico. See you later. Jeez, we we'll want to be friendly, and then they say yeah, and then they say no. Make up your mind, god dang it, Mexico. Turkey, what are we doing here? Supply sucks. By god, it sucks a lot. <clears throat> Do that if you can. Doing it, fighters of Bulgaria? Sure. What would Donate a small number of aircraft to the recently newly established Bulgarian Air Force? Yeah. Except. The High Command has accepted our uh, proposal, uh, and Boris III has personally thanked the donation of our aircraft, seeing that the relations between the Deutsche Kaiserreich and the Bulgarians are becoming stronger and more prosperous and mutually beneficial. You betcha. Oh, wow. Well, Poland's won their war. Central power is looking not too bad. Of course, it's just us and them. Mexico already left. God dang Mexicans. Going crazy on us. Why don't you go up here now? Uh, we'll wait for that stuff. We gotta get more of our land auction done first. Panzer expert, yeah. I love on lunch. Oh, wait, where are you going? Just go up there, dude. Um. Portfolio. We'll see if we can get anyone else here too. I also want to get some of the stuff done too. Go ahead, go in. Have fun. Yeah, they're losing against the Kurds. God dang Kurds. <clears throat> but this will help us out too. Help them out. Help them out. It accepts. Yay! Now just want to go to this again. Please go ahead. That one next. Followed up with a Bohemian shipbuilding legacy. <coughs> Excuse me. Czech industry was responsible for 75% of shipbuilding in former Austria-Hungary. We'll use modern technologies and develop industry to build some vital ship parts that will later be fitted onto our warships. Yes, that would be great. And... We're gone. Good job, guys. So over here... We need to help hold the line. At the very least. God, Kurds. That's all I'm going to say. We could really use more war sport. Jesus. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, you know what? Promises of peace. Use weekly war sport. Oh, I want more war sport. No, not that. So we'll see. Um, how's Spain doing? Go down here if you can. That'd be great. 
Um, so yeah. Back to the seas would be good as well. Our enemies own the seas. Our, their navies are huge. Their navies are unbreakable. But we'll change that. With our great books and shipbuilding, we can challenge other nations' sea dominance. It's a secure position. It's a sea dominance. Naval nation. research organization. Which we get another research slot, because why not? The question of Romania. Romania was always a thorn in the eyes of the Hungarians, now when they stand under our banners. The question of Romania becomes more urgent. Should uh, they handle... Should they handle Transylvania? Uh, should we focus on their oil fields, or uh, is an unlikely alliance a way to go? We can always use a little bit more conflict, can we? Of course we can. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Not another research slot, because we didn't have enough already, obviously. Um... Some radar, yeah. I've neglected radar so far. We can still invite Mexico, but they're taking out Central America, and I don't really want to do anything with them yet. So. Uh, wow, Yugoslavia, you really hurt yourself quite quite badly. That, that really sucks. Also, we won in Republic of Turkey. Kurdistan was puppeted. We're struggling in China now, actually, quite a bit. Uh, they come back with quite a vengeance, so. And we can't quite win because they just really screwing us up. So. We'll try the best we can, but still. Another research? Yes. For days. Extraction. Auto scores any? Yes. And we lost because the guy's not that strong. And they probably have air superiority too. So we got plenty of equipment. Um, since we're here, take for the spear, proper heritage. No, professional art, officer core. Uh, seems a little okay. The physical focus is very, very good. And we'll probably go with that one in all honesty. Theater training. I do like theater training quite a bit. Mm. I think we'll just for now keep going down this way. Uh, infiltration assault's not bad, but do we get anything else down here? To delay any time. You know, I'm just gonna spend my arm, army XP already. Just stack up, make a 40 ish combat with for now. Make them huge and thick. Because if they're not huge and thick, I don't want them. Five. Our organization is not as good, so we gotta go at least 43. Or go 45. Now they're literally all just half strength, which is not good, but whatever. Don't really care too much. Good job, guys. More naval stuff, yes. Get all that stuff up there before we get too far as well. I know we're not taking a long time to go to war and do anything, but, you know, I wanted to make sure we, we start off on the right foot. Uh, Germano-Brazilian relationship. Gatilo Vargas, or was known as Brazil the father of the poor, has always looked at Germany as an inspiring nation. He wished to industrialize Brazil, and by sending aid, we can eventually uh, gain a strong ally in the American Canon. Demand Transylvania, and control over the Munet and oil fields. We're not invited to our faction. Bulgaria's already in it. No, actually, they're not. I'd rather just own them directly. They'd probably say no to us. It's in fine, not for long. Conflict does not afford further attention. Nice. This would give us a good opportunity to test out everything that we've got already. And we're out of manpower. God dang it, I don't like that. Because this is pretty good, going to limited conscription hurts us a little bit more too. Which is not good. Visible ink. Nice. Well, that's the okay. case. So we have already five uh, spies. Puppet war goal. It's more like just a directly just annex and war goal. There you go. Nice. Anyone else? No. Um, you're at over here. I'll take, take actually. They don't guarantee the Romanians. Uh, the independence of the Romanians is guaranteed by Russia, Russia and France. Okay, so we can't quite do that yet. We'll get there eventually, though. Serbia. They've got all their guarantees. So be it. We'll wait. Do we have expiration on this? In two years. That's not too bad. Uh, challenge Franco-British continental hegemony. French and Brits harmed us greatly after the Valkyrie. But Nazi's rise of power was their fault, but we shall bow no more. They are weakened by years of stagnation and internal problems. We should take back what's rightfully ours. Very true. 300 factories? Not enough. Kickstart Brazilian industrialization. Brazil hides many options for blade investment. That's vast science hide many natural minerals, and cities are ready for European industrialization. And we have the resources to get them started. We are encircled. God dang it. We are struggling here. Go both right there and you'll be able to break free. I'm out. Force the attack. Nice. There you go.
Claims backed by force. Ooh. Our words aren't empty planetary threats. We have all we need to meet them. Our army's highly trained, well equipped, and ready to march on Paris once more. Actually, uh, what are we lacking? Just casually 24,000 pieces of artillery. That's all. Alright. Make sure we keep building ourselves up. We're building up a lot of infrastructure, too, which is not bad. Don't get me wrong. I love building up infrastructure a whole bunch, but that's always secondary to whatever we have right now. Do I want to think about Prussia? We will need to get the Poles eventually as well, but yeah, that's why I want to build a big old force here first. Build up all that stuff first and get at least two of these going. Need some radar as well. So that'll be good. Imperial organization. Good, so good. Yes. See to the Eastern Front. <coughs> if we have learned anything from the Great War, we, have some, uh, we must prepare for an attack on outlying Eastern possessions. These possessions must be restored and fortified against invasion. Force Department, nice. And then. Good. And then we'll come over here and do. Uh, not our Turkey. Redoubt against Russia. Our Western nation, our nation sends us a shield against Russian imperialism, protecting the West from Russia's influence. We must carry the mantle with pride and prepare to use arms if necessary. Pretty much. Yeah, Japan's doing very well. I'm not sure what China's up to. Why are they sucking so hard? They seek to increase their cooperation. China is and will be useful as testing grounds or even as a potential ally. It's fine, whatever. What's wrong with these guys? Hmm. No, well, whatever. Oh, I'll go right there, too. Fine for now. More training? Nice. And we'll grab more production costs. This is okay. Germania Veft. Toddler. Uh, infantry attack. Get more ambusher for now. It's fine. If you really want to help out, it's fine with us. Give me an actual spirit to help them out. Uncontrolled militarists. Army strength and empowered Zaibatsus. No, it seems pretty normal. Tank radio is nice. China, do you have any debuffs? Southern German cooperation. Hyperinflation is not good, but army corruption is very bad. And if they don't work, focus on it, they'll die very easily, so. Should be able to do something there, right? <clears throat> See to the eastern front, we'll give them a manpower that way. Biffle. The Lithuanian government has agreed to demands and Mamel will be incorporated back in East Prussia. You know, the unlawfully stolen province has been returned to the German nation. Excellent. <coughs> Excuse me. Read out against Russia. See that 1% population would be good. Very good, actually. Progress channel request Panzerschiff. Good opportunity to strengthen our influence in China. <clears throat> nope. Planes. Cast. Last speed, more ground attack. Um, I always use agility. Ch Agility's just so good to get. You more stats here. You know, I'll, I'll go to the Messerschmitt. Messerschmitt, funny company. Funny name company. They're about to lose Nanjing. Doesn't help that they're not fighting anybody else. Whatever. It's only 1940. Happy 1940. I didn't realize it was 1940. And no one's going to war with each other yet. Do they not want to go to war with us? Oh, also, probably this too. Fine. Our supplies are pretty bad over there, so. We did it against Russia. Support the border states. Our place in the sun. Turning Qingdao. Prepare for the next blockade. Versus all in the shipbuilding act. Anglo French Gemini. Hmm. Danzig for guarantees. Let's just take care of the Baltics first. The Baltics were part of the Russian Empire until a few decades ago. It stands reason the Russians may once more try to annex them. Must prevent this and offer military support in case of Russian invasion. Sure, why not? 20 artillery pieces a day are not enough. Lutians. 
What are we waiting for? Two? Wow. <clears throat> we're high here, so look at the equipment first. They want to stay neutral. Well, Nurshio's mission is over. Train Turkish army and help educate them about the war tactics. But even though we expected this mission to strengthen the Germano Turkish relationship, they still want to maintain the neutrality. Oh, that's a shame. I really is quite a shame. Brew medium tanks. We need some more planes, too. So if we leave, China's completely screwed. Well. Radio detection. Get some more radio. Be good. Now we get 1% more population, too. Nice. That would be very helpful. Let's safeguard the Baltics next. Danzig for guarantees. The Poles most surely feel the danger of the Russians. Perhaps we could come to an agreement regarding the return of Danzig deposit in the Silesian Voivodeshia. In exchange for guarantees of military support in case of an invasion of the East. Yeah. How do they not have any resistance here? Don't make sense to me, man. Alright, so. Um, so you guys are guaranteed by Russia and France. We're basically in a two-front war. We can hold it against the French. Uh, against Russia. We had to go through Romania to get to here. We'll see what the Poles say first before we go to war with them. Battle of the penalties. Let's see. Let's see. We can do a few more planes, which is nice, finally. One more planes. Very good. Uh-oh. Ah, so if they come no knocking, we'll be okay. Ideological defenses. <coughs> the military threat is not the only danger we're subjected to. We must look to ways to keep communism at bay itself, and to that end, we'll create a pact with our fellow non communists resolving to combat its events. The Poland gives in. Oh my god, we're going to need a lot of fuel. Because we're already out. Nice. Excavation good. Oh, ship refitting is uh, do more dockyard uploads. Very good too. Recon company, 1940. I want better planes first. Definitely gotta get better planes. Improve any tank chassis. Nice. Um, welded armor. Oh, cast armor. Go with medium officers, cannons. Uh, mediums, one man, two man. Let's go with two man. Radio improved. Special modules, wet ammo storage, more reliability. Slip armor, extra ammo storage, or reliability, but whatever. Dozers, um, slipped armor. Gasoline's not bad, actually. And to interest bar, it's fine. My armor's gonna cost quite a bit, but that's fine, I don't care. Oh, exactly 100%? Perfect. Make more millis. Brute fuel radios, nice. Research speed. Good god. We're about to get encircled here. So bad. We're in the southern, uh, southern region. Well, Nanjing. Yep, that was, I knew that was gonna happen. And. Naval bombers. Junkers. Yeah, we're gonna use these guys anyways, that's fine. Let's see what pa these guys say. We're still out of artillery. Give up on Prussia. Accept our offer. The Poles decided to accept our offer and made the arrangements to transfer their border provinces to us. They put their faith in us and urged us to stand ready in case of Russian aggression. The blight of Versailles is undone at last. They turned. You sure they returned? I guess Danzig, but. You can always betray him later. Um. The Prussian line. Are they going to attack us? Oh, a lot of ports here, okay. If anything, actually, if anything, um, I'll you guys go here. Because right now, are they guaranteeing anybody's independence? No, which is good. Uh, probably go to war very soon, too. Should be able to hold out against all these people, right? Should. Actually, Mossheim has been here for a while. You guys welcome here. Get another port if you need it. Just one more port, it's fine. Ships. Nice. Good. 
Great volunteers. We did the best we could here in China, but it's not wasn't good enough apparently. Yeah. Now, communists. I've been a problem for him as a treaty. And to come to a pact against the Soviet Union. Attack by the common turn doesn't really work for us. Mountain artillery is not bad. Kickstart Brazilian industrialization. Yeah. Italy is clean. Oh, there they go. Yeah, I'll do a Kickstart Brazilian stuff too. Are they at war with anybody else? Oh. Oh. Now we're at war with these guys. Interesting. Germany war again for the glory of the German nation. It is what it is, of course. You guys all do this. Here. Get it and get you over there too. One way to do that. Um there you go. Go right on in if you can. One map would be nice. We're at war, which is not the worst thing that could happen to us. As well with Greece and Romania, which is not bad. Should we take out Greece? Well, I don't trust the Italians that much. Go in. We have a lot of manpower, though. This is probably one of the best ways we could actually get these guys under us. Nice. Research. Yes. Oh, yes, finally. Our guys fight even better now. How's their sport right now? It's looking pretty good. Hey, at least we got in some sort of conflict. But we will go to extensive conscription, too. Eventually. Sorry, Johnny, your time is done. We tried our best with you. But you just weren't good enough. Hello. Nice. Took a while to get through here, but whatever. Losses, probably relatively high. Eh, that's not bad for us. Keep doing more damage, more damage, more damage, more damage. Hey, you know, it's a quint. Beautiful. Fighting straight through the mountains here sucks so much. In the meantime, we're not going to let up on doing any of that stuff. That's good. Get some more of this stuff, too. Um, nice. And more of this as well. That'll be good. That's what about the Brazilians. <coughs> Actually. Things here. Odessa. There you go. Hispanic Alliance. All right. That's fine, whatever. Don't really care about them too much. How much are we missing? Still 23,000? Jesus Christ. Ah, we're invading quite well, though. Federator, finally, finally. Fruit dry docks, good. Um, oh, God, that's not good. Steel stuff, engineering, artillery, support, yes, please, because I want to improve, maximize our land auction as fast as possible. Better supply consumption, nice. That's really good. I know we were doing a ton of damage. Oh, hello. Oh, actually sunk a couple ships too. We like that quite a bit. Well, 100,000 losses would be our goal, I guess. Good God, you are failing here hard. All right, let's see. We have them out. Um, fighters as well as more casts. Good God, Italy. Please. Why do you suck so much? Support the border states. Ah, there goes Romania. Nice. Give them options. Just go and... Them up like that. Nice. Hot Turkey. Oh, war economy too. <coughs> With the wars being fought just outside of borders, there seems to be no reason why our economic transition is primary, primary uh, war focused economy. We lose weekly war support too, which sucks, or whatever. Nice. Fair superiority down here? I should help out the Italians. Because my god, everyone knows they need help. Yeah, a lot of help. Right, so you guys are fine. Um, Poland. Anti-Soviet Pact. Well, they are monarchists. The last time there was a monarchy in Germany and a monarchy in Russia, it didn't go so well. That's by the rim. What if we were to do that? Or a Balkan Defense League. 
guaranteed by the, these guys. What if we wanted Yugoslavia? Is there anything about Yugoslavia or Serbia here at all? Uh, by south, Shalifa wants some more. Alsace, Africa, Japan, a Dutch deal. Bismarck Island. We'll do our place in the sun next. Let everyone know that the German Empire wants more serious this right to take this place in the sun. Our people will no longer be uh, humiliated in the shadows. It is suggesting an exchange of technology and ideas that will bring your nations closer together and make us stronger. Mm, nah. I love how we're just sitting here and slightly going to war, but the allies are just like, whatever, bro. We'll let it happen. Logistic six, please. How many are we out? Spells in mount, which is not bad. At least it's gonna get worse. It's not yet. <coughs> um, yeah, having two is not enough. Train. Alright, so we need way more of this, obviously. We need more tungsten, chromium, whatever. Light tanks are fine. That France is done. It's good. Go up higher here. Uh, anti tank, naval bombers. We need way more. We got more than enough equipment right there, anyways. For this. Get ready for the French. Because that would be very good. Nice. Keep building all our stuff up. Radar would be very beneficial for us. I know that because they're very good. Keep training until you're all dead. And how's this looking down over here? Ah, definitely helped out. Definitely helped out. You deal with even more? Please, more damage. Always more damage, please. <coughs> uh, see, if you have just enough damage, you can do whatever you want. Oh, Greece is gone, but we'll give it to the Italians because I think they deserve it the most. There you go. Nice. They want to limit uh, naval rearmament. That's a little late to do that. Usually they do it at the beginning of the game. Actually, you know what? You get these guys. Our recent efforts to build a larger fleet have propelled us among the ranks of the major naval powers. The UK clearly feels threatened by our expanded fleet and has sent a delegation to our capital to negotiate a mutual arms limitation treaty. The treaty will also be modeled on the Second London Naval Treaty and restrict the size of our capital ships, as well as limit our overall fleet size and capital ships to not exceed the fleet of the UK. Go screw yourself, UK. We're still doing war economy, which would be kind of disastrous for us, but we'll do place in the sun as well. And then we'll prepare for the next blockade at all in shipbuilding. Um, you get two. More dockyard output, that's okay. I prefer this one probably. Uh, the infernal British blockades will cost us the last war. We'll not make the same mistake again. This time we'll go over in greater lengths to prepare the population for what's to come. Break the Anglo French colonial hegemony. Time's come to shatter the monopoly of the West held on colonialism, colonialism for too long, and then Schlieffen wants more. The Maginot must be circumvented. We will once again pass through Belgium and the Luxembourg in a swift strike for victory. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will finally go to war with everyone else. And have a great time doing so. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.